Hey, what's up? The Goff here, and you will never guess who I was just talking to on his cell phone. Now, hold on a second. It's ringing again, and it's the same guy. Hello, Mr. President. What's up? Would you forget something? You got to be kidding me. I, I was just throwing that flag idea out there. But, but Dick Cheney likes the idea. Wow, I can't believe that. That's unbelievable. It sounds like this flag idea may actually work. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you very much, Mr. President. All right, keep me in the loop. Okay, bye. Guys, that was the President of the United States of America. Wow, can you believe that? The president called me personally to congratulate me about our victory over the Steelers on Sunday. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, Garv, wait a second. Why would the president call you? It's not like you're on the team or something. Excuse me? Of course I'm on the team. Every Jets fan is on the team. If you're a Jets fan and you don't believe that you're a part of the team, that you're on the team in real life, then I want you to get up, turn this video off, turn around, and get the hell out of here! So anyway, I'm talking to the president, and we're talking about the Jets being America's football team. And, you know, I make the observation that the American flag is kind of, you know, biased towards the Giants because of all the blue and everything. And then I just threw the idea out there that maybe somehow we could change the colors of the flag to red, white, and green. Well, you know, the president uh, agreed to think about it and told me that he would run it by Dick Cheney. Well, it turns out Dick Cheney kind of likes the idea. And guys, this thing could happen. And the reason it could happen is because the Jets are America's team. Why are the Jets America's team? Because we don't quit and we're not afraid to be the underdog. And just like the Jets were the underdog against Pittsburgh, America was the underdog against Great Britain in the Revolutionary War. Now I know a lot of you guys suck at trigonometry, but how's your history? Because if it's any good at all, you would know that in the Revolutionary War, you know, like in the first half of that war, America was not doing very good at all. In fact, in the geopolitical world standings, we were one in eight, all right? But what happened? We turned things around. And the reason we turned things around is because we were well rested. Dream a little dream of me. As any student of history can tell you, the turning point of the Revolutionary War was when George Washington slept in the boat as it crossed the Delaware. By the time he got to the other side, he woke up feeling refreshed and invigorated and full of energy. And that was the turning point in the war. And now the Jets are at a turning point in the season. Okay? And that bye week was absolutely critical. I mean, you just saw against the Steelers an example of what a well-rested Jets team can do. And uh, guys, I'll tell you something. If we would have had that bye week back in week one, we'd be undefeated right now. I mean, did you see the way the Jets penetrated the Steeler defense? That was like the way the Garve penetrates supermodels. Okay, it was a thing of beauty, a thing to behold. All right, and I fully believe that we are going to finish this season at 8-8. Eight and 8-8 eight. And eight and eight may not be good enough to get into the playoffs, but it'll be good enough to be 500. Peace. Peace.